Howdy, folks. <laughs> Welcome to episode 100 of Journey to the Farlands. We're here, finally. <laughs> We're at 100 episodes. Oh, what a joy. What a joy. Anyway, today I'm going to do things a bit differently, well, at least to start. We're going to go, we'll do the actual world in a bit, but I wanted to kind of do a bit of a how we got here sort of a deal. I've done this before. I've gone through my images in here before. Uh, I think a long time ago, like 80 episodes ago or so, but I think we should give it a good, good, uh, good go here, looking at all our history here. So yeah, this is the beginning. <laughs> what was once the beginning of such a great series? Uh, I, I guess I, I guess I could just use arrows. Well, can I? Oh, I can do it like this. Okay, I'll control it like this. So this is Spawn Island. Uh, I guess I'll just breeze through it a little bit. Some first diamonds. <laughs> I don't know why I placed the torches like that. And a little, a little special. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, this was when I was getting ready to kind of leave the spawn area. You can see it's inspired by TFC's journey to the Farlands, uh, which went until 2021. That was the last, that was when the last episode released, I think. And these are just random photos. <laughs> That's what the mo majority of these are going to be. Look at those cords. That's pretty darn fresh. Um, this, I guess, is a bit of a scrapbook, so you get, can see a little bit of things. I don't. Know, it does show the date on some of them, doesn't it? But yeah, this was. We were still at spawn here, um, and then I chose to depart spawn on August sixteenth, as as per the huge, as 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 we all know now with a history lesson. That was like one of the first beds. Well, not one of the first. It was like, oh, I guess it was because negative 167, 1093. Yeah. And then just a bunch of scrapbooking. Oh, where is this one? Negative 168, 6,007. Oh. So I think the Z, yeah, the Z axis is the axis that grows. Um, 7,500. Some of these are a bit I may remember. Some of these I may have forgotten since then. Uh, some classic boating and boats breaking and me hopping out of them. 18,000. There may be gaps. Yeah, 20,000. Uh, this is like, I think this is still the first day of journeying. <laughs> yeah, I traveled like 60K or, you know, I traveled a good like 40K, I think. The first 100k was reached within the first two days, which is definitely a lot different to how it works now. But I kind of ran, I was around that negative 1000 mark. I realized I kind of just wavered there. I didn't really pay attention to the X coordinate until I switched my direction. Oh, there's a, a wolf, not my dog. Oh, this is like one of the areas I remembered for Outpost 1. I was like, I want an area like this. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, that was like back a few months ago when I was planning that. I thought about that. 38k, 41k. You can even see the clouds shifting. <laughs> so this is August 17th. Uh, okay, so we're one day into the journey. This was the big day for the journey to the Farlands. It was like the most I've ever walked. I think I I haven't beaten that yet. I've gotten like 50k, but I haven't gone. Like, that was like 60 something, which is crazy. If I wanted to do that now, that'd be like a day, whole day's worth of effort. And we're at it's about 70k, 75. I, I took a picture exactly at 75k because I was like, oh, look at that. <laughs> 80. Oh, that one was really cool. I remember that one. That one was a lot of fun. I, there's a lot, there's some of them I do remember better than others, of course, because, you know, two mil, two almost three million blocks of a journey. It kind of, kind of all melds together in the end, but there are some kind of neat little things I remember, and some of them just kind of work. Um, oh, there's that one. I I, I called that like the Nether Reactor because it looked like the Nether Reactors from Pocket Edition. <laughs> oh, that felt oh, it felt like that was yesterday. Gosh, that was seven months ago. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. It's about seven months, but. But yeah, we're kind of just gonna zip on through. I'm, I'll kind of note. Oh, there's 100k. I reached it at night time because I was, I didn't want to sleep or I didn't want it to extend another day. So I just walked during the night. 
Uh, I've only done that a few times in the world. I just have a bunch of pictures of these spikes. And there's the mushroom on a tree thing that I've talked about a few times. Oh, this is when I was still using the original textures. I mean, there's also the jitters and everything else. So it was a lot different back then. Oh, that was my waterbed. Not, uh, I guess, a little bit different. Uh, oh, that one was kind of cool. Reminds me of a landmark that near me where I live. There's a landmark that's like that. It's very cool. And there's some more mushrooms <laughs> on trees. That's a lot of that. I just took pictures of my beds, too. I don't know why. 139,000. Peter Griffin, of course, I took a picture of that. That was that long ago. Wow. That was still August when I took that picture. It's odd because some of these things I remember super well, and they happened so long ago. I mean, I remember things way longer ago than that, but still, it feels so fresh in the memory still. But it was not. Of course, the burning trees, one of the kind of thing I've been following. <laughs> it's kind of the joke is that I've been hunting down here, Brank. You know, there's the whole thing about trees getting lit on fire, or like, like leafless trees or whatever. Oh, I think this was a jitteriness quotient I did after passing. What was it? Two to the power of something. <laughs> Two to the power of something. Um, yeah, I, I was I used the oak plank as my benchmark, and I would crouch around it and see. I don't think it was too bad at this point. 200k. Uh, oh yeah, you can see I started ch changing direction. <gasps> you can see that number is going to start increasing. I'm starting to... Although I'm still walking diag... I think I'm walking diagonally at this point. I think it was diagonal. That was really cool. I like that. Like I like those like formations that have the natural hole, like holes like that. With the gaps in them. Another bet at 220k. Oh, there was my riding of a pig. Of course. So yeah, none of this has been... I guess none of this would have been seen by you guys since I didn't film back then. But this is my inventory back then. Uh, not, probably not a whole lot different. Uh, there's no mods or anything, so I don't have a skin at this point. Even a little bit spotty now, I guess. There's some spawners. I, I found, I think I found more spawners, but there's probably going to be like dozens of them that I don't take pictures of in, by the end, but I've tried to take as many. Oh, there's my first pet dog. That, what is that? That was old Joseph. Uh, fun. Did not last very long. I did not know how dogs worked. Yeah. <laughs> I I guess we could use it as a benchmark. This is like a day's worth of walking. 300k. Well, actually, the first one is like back here. Oh, I don't know where this was. Probably 296k. And by 304k, we I had already, already lost them. It did not last long. I, yeah, I definitely have learned a bit more about taking care of pet wolves in Minecraft with the whole tail thing. I didn't realize that. And also feeding them. I was trying to figure out. Oh, that was a kind of cool one. Vaguely, vaguely remember that. Like I said, it all just kind of blends together after a while. Oh, there's the first pink sheep I found on the journey. Took me an odd 400,000 blocks, but we did it. And I don't think the journey actually really slowed down at this point. Like, I noticed it a little bit. Like, I walked less per day, but it didn't really change things a whole lot. I think it just... I just walked a lot in the beginning because I used to be like, oh, I didn't walk that much. But I, 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 I didn't walk that much back then. It was just my pacing that was different. But I I just, I don't know. I, I definitely just walked a lot more back then because it was summer. I had time. I still, I worked. But, oh, this was from a long time ago. I think this is one of the ones I use now. I think this might be the one I use for my, my, tw my uh, OBS here now. This is an old, old photo, 500,000 blocks. Oh, this area was really cool. I remember this. I think these were like really close to each other. And it was just like a, oh, I think, you know, yeah, they are. It's like mirrors. Yeah, okay. But yeah, that was a really cool area. A few areas like that are very neat. Lots of pictures of rain, 500,000. Creeper troop. That's not the last time I run into those. 
Oh, that was like a packed up PNG looking one. I found more like that too, which is funny. You find them a lot. Another pink sheep. Pink sheep are quite often I I've found in my journeys. For them being so rare. Uh, just some general. Oh, this photo. If you can tell, this one's distorted because I used Optifine in this photo. You can actually watch it in video, like a little bit later down the line, of course. I did The Edge of Destruction, I did it in that video. It is a Doctor Who reference. But I uh, I used Optifine and everything broke. It, it, was worth the, it was worse than this. I don't think I have screenshots of it in my screenshots file. But here was another one I found, 600K. We're now in September. September. 25,000 block loss recovered. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, what was that? That was me, like the, me getting sent back to spawn or something. I, I didn't die, but I had like a Optifine broke my game. I was trying to get stuff. I was tinkering with things and I hadn't backed it up, which was annoying. I had to recover that, but it was okay. Well, here's my first picture of the, the, the Farlands in my uh, Do They Exist world where I used commands to get out there, single player commands. And I teleported out and I was like, yep, they exist. Because back then, I actually was unsure, even though now I know that that was stupid for thinking that. But also, it was a huge journey. I didn't want to do it and not reach them. So I just made sure. Oh, this was the original photo. I think I edited it accidentally. Oh, there it is without. But this is my, I think this was my first starting soon thing I chose. That was from September 18th. I, I also remember a lot of these big old, big old pits and things. Uh, just kind of breezing through because there's a lot of them. There's just the random door. Oh, I think, oh yeah, I, I do have my skin, so I'd already tinkered around with mods. I've had mods for a long time in this. Like, I mean, like, quality of life. I'm not talking about huge game changers, but this is when I was testing out the old door sound. Because I had a sounds mod that replaced the new ones with old sounds, which was fun. This is my second dog. Wow, let's watch this dog. Dun, dead. <laughs> God, I, I was so bad at taking care of my first two dogs. They, they didn't even... Wh where was this one? Oh, did I? I was like around here. It was around a million. Oh, I don't have any. 900,000. Uh, did not survive very long. Hmm. Some rain. Oh. Uh, this was still before. I remember this because this is in the log in the Discord. In the community Discord, I've, I've put all my logs from Newcraft 3 in there from during the Farlands prior to my series starting. 757,996. So we're just about a million. Yeah, there we are. One million block mark. And this was also before the series had began on YouTube slash Twitch. And there's some trees with the tops shaven off world or world height. Not world border, world height. Um, that was fun. I've encountered that a few times. Not not very often, actually. But I've seen... Oh, there's my profile picture. That was a long time ago, too. About 1.7 million blocks ago. Oh, there's a nice five block tall cacti I found, or cactus. Very nice, and some court things. Oh, this was probably taken, this is probably taken during filming. I guess some of these you might not have seen even if you did watch those episodes, because I did off camera walking still for up until episode 14. So there's still plenty. Oh, this is when I was I used my origin skin accidentally for an episode. I don't remember which one's that which one that was, but yeah. Oh, there's a spawner. Oh, there's the submarine. <laughs> I've shown that off a few times. <laughs> That's one of those one of those things you just remember. You just remember that this is such a fun thing I saw. I think who did it? I think was it Kilo? Might have been kill crazy, kill crazy man, kill. Yeah, probably kill. Oh, there's my first golden apple. Oh, look at all that old stuff in my inventory, which all got lost in lava. But you know, I left most of it behind. 
at the outpost. Golden apple. Number six, 26 responders. That, that wasn't completely accurate, but, you know. Or actually, it might have been. Who knows? And now we're in October. We're kind of just breezing through time now. Oh, there's my my mysterious pond that I found. Oh, that was the first time I'd used a pack, texture pack in the world. Or that was kind of what I was tinkering about. Um, I think that was another one I used. I've used a few of mine. Oh, there's the Halloween special. <laughs> Episode 9. Wow, we're, we're breezing through our episodes now. So yeah, filming started in October, in case anyone's curious. I started the journey in August, but I started filming. Oh, there's my double bed. Oh, gosh. I have t there was like a weird thing I did, just for fun. Oh, this is when I was starting to transition to iron for the first time. Uh, I don't what happens to the best of us. And if I remember stuff specifically from episodes, I feel like most of these, if they are from episodes, I probably just took them. Oh, this was Tickled Pink. I took that one in Tickled Pink. And my memory is very hazy, so mind, mind my lack of awareness for episodes in the past. But I was just... Oh, I... <laughs> the floating bed. Ah, that one was the floating bed. I haven't done one like that before. At least, I guess, I didn't know. Oh, this was what I was doing when pigs fly. Or like the pig flying one like with the achievement. I was doing it back then. Oh, that, that dates things. I remember that too. Oh, so much time has gone by since then. Oh, that one fit perfectly. I didn't even have to remove any sugar cane for that. It just, fate worked. Now, this, was, this one was in a cave. I think that was when I went caving. Yeah. I did like a caving trip just for fun. Oh, it was that. That was where I was. I, I did another bed there, too. And there's my cake. Two million blocks. <laughs> now, that's, oh, now we're looking for outpost one. Because I need more diamonds. Oh, there's outpost one. <laughs> Just appears. Outpost one land before the end. So this is January this year now. So we're, we're pretty much up to date now. But. Oh, yeah, you get, like, the nice pan around. And this is the house. Oh, look at, look at that. It gives me, almost gives you kind of nostalgia, because I remember watching videos like this back in 2012, like, videos of Minecraft when it was like this. I mean, Minecraft was different in 2012. It was, like, way different to this, but I remember watching videos from back in the, this day, or back in the 2011 days. Oh, that was Twas the Phony Lands after all, because it looked like the Far Lands. It kind of had that that uh, Swiss cheese kind of thing where it had the holes in it. It was weird looking. Oh, definitely. So the, now we're... Oh, that was... Yeah, that was this year still. A nice boat. My first hidey hole I did. Just for fun. I've done a few, but I just like to do my normal bed design. Um, uh, wonderful. I won't bother with that. I'll switch. Okay, anyway. Yeah, uh, this is... Oh, look at all those diamonds. And all the, the, the two golden apples. And it all was gone. It all was gone. Right? Oh, I guess, yeah, right here. I died. Stone Age. And I, uh... Yep, here's the base. This is Uno. I made this one when I had COVID. <laughs> that was fun. The outpost too. And it was for one day. And now the journey goes back. It continues. And now we're we're very close to where we are now. This is Cursed Water. Entire episode just named after that. I get pretty un pre cre pre creative sometimes. Alpha beta ties. Oh, that, that was a good episode. Floating cacti. That was elusive cacti. This was my nether venture. And then nether venture over. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, this was very this is very recent now. I'm too afraid to make an outpost. So I dug this hole. <laughs> yeah, so now we're 
pretty much up to date. But that's pretty much all my screenshots. Uh, the pink sheep, my new pro, my new kind of picture I took. And then hell again bed from last episode before I got lost. <laughs> that's happened. And there's the dog. Some spawners, some pictures, and that's it. Well, <laughs> that leads us to now. That leads us right here. Oh, let's see, there's that picture I was talking about. But I, before I before I get any carried away any further, I figure I should probably get on with the journey because I want to get some progress. <laughs> I, I did a stream earlier today. I did episode 99 earlier today and we did some good progress but i want to get some better progress so we're going to do that uh let's go back to journey of the far lands here if it will if it will capture it uh there we go the creeper is a spy well that's no, no surprise to me um oh this is when i had beta tweaks installed but i don't have it anymore that was a long time ago. 31 gigabytes in size. <sighs> the world is huge. <laughs> it is pretty huge. Okay. Well, I guess we ought to continue. Oh, gosh. I was going to do this episode with the Farlandian flip challenge I kind of came up with where I'd invert my... I, uh, I have hand positions, but I also have the dog, and I have, oh, uh, I guess I could, if I'm trying to get progress, it would be a little annoying, especially when I'm in combat like this, yeah, oh, oh, wow, that was, see, so, okay, do I have anything, do you eat bread, uh, I don't think you eat bread, no, I think I need to get you, some food. Okay, you just sit real tight here. That was. Ugh. There's so many creepers. They're after me. The creepers are spies. I am. I'm starting to listen. Oh, what a good start! <laughs> Hitting my dog with my sword. Jeez. <laughs> what a. Ah, uh, there's no surprise as to how my dogs could have died previously. <laughs> No pigs, because that dog is like one one like a tap off being dead. So I need to get some pork. Some pork. I need the pork. Yes, yes, that's what I do need. This is also why I don't get nearly as far. No. <laughs> oh, in all fairness, I do get a good amount of progress in the world. So, but that was. You know what, I, I guess I'll have to take the dog with me and just be careful. Try not to murder the dog. That would that would be uh, not so preferable. Okay, where, where are you? I put you somewhere. Go down here, okay. Short-term memory loss in flux. Okay, come on. You're like one hit off being dead, so I gotta like definitely try and... Yeah, I hear ya. I wanna sit him down, but I also gotta keep moving. Okay, we'll take care of a we'll pet dog here. I don't have a name, by the way. So if anyone watching has name suggestions, I already have gotten a bunch of them. I think I might just, I think instead what I might do is I might just, I might just name it based off of just whatever I kind of gravitate towards calling it, which is right now just do pet dog and doggy, which I'm not going to call it either of those. Um, yeah, you bark. Shoot, I did not want to do that. Well, it was an accident, but still, I feel bad. Feel bad for poor dog. I've already walked, what, like 40k, 50k with this dog, and I haven't even called it anything yet. Like, I haven't given it a name. How rude of me. But I've gotten some some different name suggestions uh, from friends. I think one of them was, I'll, I'll kind of do the lowdown of all of them. Stu I think Devin suggested Stuart, 
which has a lot of nicknames, so I could do I could do Stuart. There's also Gerald and Bingo the Great as other names suggested by other peoples. So they could work. Pig couldn't come any sooner. Hmm. I'm trying, Doki. You're not dead yet, but I just need to. I need just a good supply. I should just collect it whenever I get it. Like, or collect it whenever I find pi or kill pigs whenever I see them because. I think I sometimes forget about it and then I'm out next thing you know like now. So um, I'm going to take care of this pet first and then I will do the inversion thing that my challenge I've, d I've done. Maybe I'll do that today. I don't got a whole lot else really planned for the special here. I guess what we could do is I could put on a texture pack. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe we'll just do a bit of everything. I'm not gonna do another venture today, though. I, that's too too much, too much with the dog. It's Im I, I I'm gonna rule out Nether venture for all for foreseeable future, at least until no, not until. I'm not. I'm not even gonna. Not even gonna think of that. We're gonna. We're just gonna not do Nether ventures. I did two. I almost died both times, so I feel like I learned my lesson. I'm gonna think positive about our pet dog here. Okay, I do need to name you. Mm, oh, there's a pig. Mm, what, should I just maybe I'll just call it Stuart. I gravitate towards Stuart. Oh, there's a there's a spawner. Mm. Come here. Where are you? Sit. Sit down, please. No, come here. I don't want to chance things with you. I've already lost two dogs. I mean, both were lost in a similar proximity to each other. They were kind of around in the same era of the series. But I wanted, I want to, oh, there's some more pork chop. I'll just dispose of a boat. I can hold an extra thing. Okay, let's take care of Doggy here and then take care of the spawner and then I'll just do the texture. Uh, whoa. I I get multitasking. I'm I'm stressed. <laughs> well, maybe what we'll do. I don't know exactly which ones are are solid. Like there's faithful, jolly craft, which is a classic, classic alternative. My Halloween texture pack, Alpha, 1.15. Be a fun one to use for an episode. Relive. What does this one? What does this one do? Whoa. Things are different. I'm I'm seeing things in all sorts of new colors. Okay, maybe we'll. How about? I might need might need. To, I think this one requires. No, it works. It just means the compass doesn't work. I think I need to get like the HD patch thing, but I haven't figured that out. It's been, it was months ago when I was first trying to figure that out, and I've just given up since then. <laughs> this is like the only texture back I use other than the main gig. I am not really much of a texture back user anyway, but saddle, wheat. I guess there's also that chance of me finding a golden apple in every single one of these. Okay, doggy. Maybe one more? Do you need one more? No, you need more than one more. Okay, I will take care of you, Stuart. Stewie. Well, I'll call it Stuart for now, and then we'll see. I feel about that name in like due time. Okay. That good? Okay. Took a lot of 
took a lot of uh, the, the food there to get this guy up, so I'll have to wait. I'll grab this. I don't remember if it takes it away like it did in Alpha and some early beta versions, so we'll see. Why? Well, I'm not really going to test that out. I would not lose all my coal. Oh, I might use this for a little while. Okay. There's some more pigs, so I'm going to take the opportunity to snag me some some more. Some more of these lovely, lovely, lovely bits of pork. Raw pork chops. Pork chop. This is a nice area. This is very nice. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll make sure I'm all stocked up on everything before I do the flip. Maybe that's what I shall do. We'll get on the actual actual grind of Journey to the Far Lands in a bit. Don't worry. I'm just preparing for the nonsense that's about to ensue. At least the dog isn't going to die today. Well, hopefully never, but hopefully this dog will get to reach the far lands alongside me. That's the hope. But I've also thought the same thing about every other dog I've had in this world. And, well, I think I'm a bit better with this dog than I was the other ones. I mistreated some other ones, unfortunately. Just because I didn't really know how to did my get it first time around or the second time third time might be the charm it seems to be because this is the longest i've had a dog and it's only been a few episodes i know but i also had the other dogs before i was filming so i didn't think of them in terms of that but yeah okay i'm gonna stock up make sure we're all stocked up on all the materials yourself, Stuart. Dogs, they, you know, have minds of their own. Not exactly the most, most uh, completely out of, the pathfinding with wolves in, this, in these older versions are definitely a little bit more touch and go. I don't know how they are now. I, I usually don't take pet dogs out traveling a whole lot. And this whole series is traveling, so, you know, that kind of kind of shifts things a little bit. But it kind of changes that. So, yeah. Also, one thing I gotta bear in mind is with the beds here, I gotta make sure I... I, um, I mean, the, the dog is teleported to me because it, it can teleport to me on top of the bed and it kicks me off. Which is not fun. Not fun at all. I also kind of got to plan out my routes a bit better. I can't just go wop, uh, moving about willy nilly. And I can't really do the waterfall thing anymore, I realize. At least without keeping Stuart in mind. Oh. Okay, are you, are you good? Are you going to. Make it down alive. Okay. <laughs> I seem to drag that into every situation. But you, what is? Do I, can I carry some extra? Yeah, yeah we, we shall. We shall. Well, this is an interesting texture pack, though. I kind of like these. There's, there's like, I'm a bit more limited with option because there's like the HD thing that eliminates some of them. Like I can't really use my compass, so I kind of got to make sure I'm on the right track. But we're doing okay. We're surviving. We're making our way through the world here anyway. Or at any rate. Well, I... Yeah, it's been an interesting run so far or more or i guess i guess more uh more appropriately a good walk 
stupid journey. A lot has happened, and yet so little. <laughs> We're st it's still like this, the, like it was on day one where I'm just walking. It has never changed, and never will, until I get there, so. Oh, this is just part of it, part of the fun. I'm, uh, I'm also just honestly a bit surprised that I've actually made it this far. Because I know that there's people, you guys are like, how do you do it? You know, a lot of people are like, how do you do something like this? So that much patience and people, of course, people want to apply that kind of motivation to their own projects and things that they have trouble keeping motivation for. And I'm no stranger to that kind of thing. You know, lack of motivation. That's a very common thing that happens. But yeah, I don't know. It's just. It was just lightning in the bottle. Yeah, it's, it's, the ep it's literally just the episode with that name. It just it was just right place, right time. You know, I just got motivated by it, and you guys are here, and I just have this long-term motivation to get there. So I'm just doing it for the heck of it, really. We're just going our, all our way to the far lands and it's just the kind of how we get to this point sort of deal. Hey, come on doggy. Come on Stewie. Okay. Hopefully you don't kill yourself trying to get down here. Oh. Oh my goodness. Well, at least take damage. I'm not going to be that, I'm not going to be that, um, What's the word? It's not gonna be that, I guess, pessimistic or realistic <laughs> about things. I'm gonna try and hope that this will that we'll make it. Oh yeah, I wanted to. Where's my shears right here? How are we doing for health? Okay, let's see. Okay, just stand still, please. Yeah, he's doing okay. No. Go take care of these sheep over here. Tune them up a little bit. Harvest their wool. And you see how smooth things are with my precision, this precision of like the proper things I have going here. But just wait until I do the, the flip, which is kind of my thing I've come up with, which is not definitely not uh, the only of its kind, but. It definitely it's a bit interesting okay but maybe what we'll do is I'll make sure I can at least have enough of everything to not have to worry about get regathering materials because I know I'm not gonna really be thinking a whole lot about that well I'm trying to at least get somewhere in this world and want to try and do it with the far land flip thing okay come on uh, I don't need extra. I can support one more. Stuart takes priority. Shifty eyed sheep over here. Isn't that something? I'm uh, nice and comfortable. Left and right are in the appropriate kind of left hand dictates the main controls and right hand does all the precision with the, the mouse. It's great. And we're about to change that. <laughs> I'll go back to my better default. Cause if I go to default, this is what the men this is what it looks like. See? This is the how it should look. But I do better default. I think originally when I did it before, I had just a texture pack that changed only the cobblestone. But, yeah. Anyway. Uh, I'll make sure we're all switched up here. Just give me a second. While I try and figure out how to move things around. Okay, mouse has been moved. Mouse pad is over here. Okay. Left hand, you get the mouse controls now. Oh god, this is going to be a nightmare. 
I'm gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> okay, okay, we are. Now you can see things are gonna be a little bit more janky because I'm now now switching things up. Oh god, I'm really I'm really trying here, folks. Oh god, okay, okay, we'll we'll survive. See how long I can last. This is always a bit of a challenge. I'm not gonna do invert though. I'm not gonna do classic invert, which it like does like the up goes down and the down goes up sort of thing. I'm not doing that. It's too much, too much. Only one at a time. I tried both, but it did not work very nicely. Hello, sheepy. I still say Wolfie. That's what Kurt says. That's what Kurt's dog is called. I think is Wolfie. I don't know. It's, I, I'll just be exchanging names for a while. I'm just kind of going different kind of names, just going through them. But I think it is going to be Stuart. At least that's where my mind is leaning right now. I haven't come up with any better names. At least I'm good at walking in a straight line with my hands inverted. But it's weird having them next to each other. Like they're usually on opposite ends of the the pull-out tray here. And I can tell this is meant for a, this mouse is meant for a right-handed person because it does not feel as nice on the left hand. You need to buy like a specifically left-handed mouse if you, if you want to play it mainly left-handed. I'm right-handed, by the way. <laughs> That's why I'm like not freaking out but I'm like I'm like oh goodness it's a bit of a culture shock for my for my hands <laughs> but yeah th things have been busy lately I've been doing Journey to the Farlands I've actually been doing a lot more lately I guess you guys have seen I did a good five hour stream and I think I've done a few other longer ones since the break has began been making the best of things been kind of figuring them out. Maybe I'll become a master at, at the Farlandian foot by the end of this. But anyway, um, yeah, I've been busy <laughs> with just not not schoolwork now. It's just been Farlands. And I did the last night we did Final Life session, which was fun. That was actually a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. We, we were getting into alliances and things, and there was that whole thing. Based off of the life series that Green's done, if any, I'm sure you people watching know who Green is, so. and probably the life series is, it's based off Last Life is what we're doing. I, I'm not streaming that. I I just enjoy that kind of stuff for like the ca casual little groups we have. So yeah, that's kind of the whole gist there. And that was a lot. That was tons of. But other than that, yeah, I've basically just been this. And I did play on the achievement hunting world again today. I've started my 500 block railway. I've started that, and I'm hopefully going to be able to get my first achievement soon. Uh, are we good? Yeah, we're okay. I also don't really like using most of the texture packs because I don't have that HD patcher thingy. How are you doing, Stuart? Okay, you're doing okay. Oh. oh I guess Stuart's going this way anyway. Oh, I also, there was another good name suggestion from when I had the original pet. There's also Cat. I could call it Cat. That would be a funny name. That would be a hilarious name. <laughs> oh god, oh god, okay. Okay, I'm, uh, <laughs> let's see. I can't, I can't do it. It's not easy. Especially for precision and combat. I. Oh god, that scared me. 
That did scare me a lot. Okay, okay. Don't kill him. Okay, yeah, okay. there we go. Good job, good job, Stuart Cat. <laughs> Stuart Cat. The pet. I don't know. I'll figure out something. Yeah, we'll go back to the normal. I, I can't do that. I, I can't believe I did it for the length I did it. Although I... It was just, it's so janky because I'm not not that good at controlling with my left hand. My left hand only knows simple things, and that is just a press space bar with the thumb, and occasionally you know do like the rotation with the three fingers, and then pinky is for shift, and then escape is like I guess which one would that be? Index or ring finger? I don't remember which one it is. I think it's index. Or it might be ring finger actually. I don't know. It's the one next to the pinky. Anyway, one next to the middle finger. <laughs> that didn't really help a whole lot, of course. That's kind of the joke. But, how are we doing for health, though? I always like to check up on old Stewie. Old Stewie. Um, shoot. Well, I was trying to think. I was just kind of thinking about everything as a whole with the journey, because, you know, I mean, episode 100 kind of gets you thinking about the, the past, and especially with our trip to memory lane, it definitely does, like, kind of just show how much, I mean, things have changed definitely a lot, it also feels like things haven't changed at all, but it's also much in the sense that I've, I was often, I don't know, I guess if it's a common thing, but I, I often imagine memories like I don't really imagine my age really playing much of a role in them, more or less. Just uh, as if things never changed, but they did. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but that's definitely something I've noticed over the years as I've started thinking about a lot more th things, especially even recent things like during you know, the Farland starting. Think, think, thinking about things like that and just being like, yeah, that was just pretty much the exact same and I definitely did not change but I did change quite a bit in that time like I'm definitely I've definitely changed since when new craft or since when the journey to the far land started because there was still new craft around new craft 3 and I definitely thought about things differently I mean I was along the same lines but the series has definitely changed me and just generally just the time since then. Oh, this is annoying. Oh no, not the not Stewie. Okay. Where did he go? Did he fall? Oh, he's like down here. Oh, I also took some damage. Good job. Good job. <sighs> Not taking damage. Well, wow. minus that half heart there. Alrighty. I don't really have. A, I guess I didn't really have a whole lot to talk about. Maybe I can brew a little something up to talk about. Brew a little something, a bit of a conversation. Because I've already kind of talked about the origins of the series. If you want to go into that, I've gone into it m numerous times before. Oh, went into that numerous times before. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna. Glaze, I'm not really gonna go over that again. And most of my motivations and things, because most of that I've also gone into. Pretty much everything during the Farlands I've gone into. Like even the old videos, there's a mini sode that shows some of the videos of things. I was trying to think of things I wanted to show off. Like I wanted to do the Farland flip thing, but that didn't work out. I got scared by a skeleton and didn't want to do that anymore. <laughs> so we're just doing the normal journey. Now without any texture pack. 
Although I think that's kind of that's kind of the way of things now. That's kind of what I'm used to and kind of what I'm excited by. Oh gosh, but I'm tired. Maybe I'll. I probably won't stream for a crazy long time, just because I also did a stream earlier. So maybe we'll kind of wrap up the commentary at an hour, and then maybe we'll do some no commentary. I don't know. Just trying to think of things I could show. I got backups. I guess I could show off backups before I wrap up commentary and things. I could do that. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe if you guys would like to see that, I'll do that. Well, I mean, I guess no one's here to say they'd want to do that, but I, maybe I'll just do that, and maybe some of you guys will like that. This is just kind of a kind of a looking back on things day, bit of a retrospective. Yep, nice retrospective episode. Whoa, I'm just playing around with some sticky notes, like one of those the, the way the sticky notes are attached. It's kind of like an accordion. Just playing around with that while I'm sitting here. I think once the day ends, I'm going to try and do some, maybe I'll take a break and then I'll do the backup stuff and then I'll go with the no commentary portion. I know I haven't done really a commentary episode in a while, but I also, I also did a mega sode like a week ago and I talked in like every episode. So I'm a bit burnt out from talking. I'll be honest. I'm not, I'm not one of those people who can just go on for days and days. I'm, I, I mean, I, yeah, I can't go on forever talking. As much as I ramble on, as long as this series has gone on, I haven't run out of things. But I definitely need to recharge my batteries, especially considering my pacing. Like I've always thought of it as my my want to, or kind of my motivation to keep going towards the far lines is d detached from my my motivation to talk in these episodes. They're they're, they're very different things. Very different. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll take that break now, and then I'll do some like little bits of showing off backups. Like I got a few of them. I might show like the first one at spawn, and then I'll show like one month, two month, three month, maybe four month. I, I haven't done any backups at outposts, so I can't go back to outposts. Like I can teleport to them, I guess. Like I've got some places, like some bucket list places, I can teleport to, but. I'd also just do that in like a testing world and I, I wouldn't really do that on stream right now. I might save that for like one year or something. Or maybe when we actually get to the far lands, I'll do that. But, yeah. Surprised Stewie didn't take any damage from any of that. That was like a huge, like I went down that whole slope and it was only at the end. Oh, yeah, you're pretty low. Okay. Take care of old Stewie here, and then once the day wraps up, I'll I'll switch over to a break. Oh, we'll do a break, and then I'll come back and uh, show off some backups, and then we can just do some no commentary, unless I think of anything else I want to show off. But and if anyone's curious, actually, I might do the statistics before we before I leave as well, like for like the before the no the whole. We got a bit of a thing we can go through because there's a lot of retrospective stuff. Uh, we could go through statistics. I'll do that in a bit. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, I'm going to snag this. Alrighty. That sounds like a good plan for the episode. Because it still makes it quite full. Like, that'll lead us into like an hour and a half, two hours, maybe. Well, I don't know, it depends what I do after the break, the, the backups and how long that takes. I'll, I might trim down the video and post, maybe. We'll see. Pigs everywhere. Maybe the pigs are spies too. <laughs> Here, you teach him a lesson. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he looked at me funny. <laughs> uh, 
No, I'm kidding, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do need some water and I'm gonna have a snack break and I'll, I'll be able to take like a 15, 20 minute break and then maybe I'll edit. I'll probably edit that out because this is one of the videos I'd want to edit a little bit at least. It's a, one of my more, one of the episodes I'm kind of excited about. Look at all this jazz. Mm -hmm. All the jazz and all that wonder stuff, wonderful stuff. But that way, the backups kind of can help me talk more <laughs> without just being like, oh, I don't know. I can at least talk. I mean, maybe I'll. That could be kind of fun. I'll have to close. I, I might have to close the, the game. So I guess, I mean, I do have to anyway, because I'm going to turn off my mic before I come back into the world anyway. So we'll do this first. Yes, that's what we shall do. I'm going to show them off. <laughs> they and bear in mind that they are not the original statistics. They have been reset. I don't exactly remember how. I think it was some weird stuff. Oh, I guess we're still missing this one on a rail. Travel at least one kilometer from where you started, which is mm, that's gonna be fun. We'll do that at the Far Lands. That'll be a Far Lands goal. Yeah, this is um. I don't remember how long, I guess this was since they reset, which was like, it's been a few months since they reset. And it was like around, I think pretty much around the same as this when it had reset. So just maybe double some of it, I don't know. But uh, 8.61 days in the world since it reset, or since the statistics reset. I think it was like do the Optifine bug thing, maybe, I don't know. Or maybe some, I was doing some weird stuff back then, like tinkering, and it didn't. It, it just erased things. Because I remember having to regather all my achievements as well. Distance by boat: 126,000 blocks by boat. Uh, 1.5 million blocks. So yeah, this is about 1.5 million blocks worth of walking track here. Although that's, I guess that's not fully accurate because it's. I don't know. It doesn't. It's a bit weird with its tracking. Items dropped. Wow, that's a lot. Jumps. I think if you go back to an episode, I, I don't remember which one you'd have to find it, but there was an episode where I did actually go through. That's kind of uh, what, I, what I showed that off many episodes ago, many moons ago. That was a lot of fun. And here's some other statistics. I'm just going to scroll through. You can pause if you want. And then I'll, we'll take the break here. Lots of netherrack. Yeah, bear in mind, this is not accurate to the entire world. Like, I did not just sleep a thousand times. That was since... I, I think we're around 2,000 days now in the world. It's taken me seven months of filming. And then there's di the discs. I've used them before. I've used cake. Oh, that was probably from one of my bases. I think that was when I redid the cake thing. Because I have a screenshot, but that was from before the reset of the advance or this thing. Statistics. Statistics. Anywho, I'm going to come back after a break. And I'll maybe show off some backups. I don't know. We'll see. But I got to restart my. I got to close my game. And then we will uh, We'll be back in like a good 15 20 minutes. And I guess for you guys on YouTube, it might be no time at all, because I might have edited it already, unless I haven't, then. 15 minutes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be right back.
Alrighty, we're back here. <clears throat> and now 90% bug free. <laughs> this one doesn't have any texture packs. This is a different 1.7.3. This one has Journey to the Farlands, but as you can see, it is 300 megabytes in size. <laughs> this is not the one you guys know now. Well, I'm just going to make sure everything's okay. Mm, just, or not okay, but make sure everything's all good. And with my backups. Yep, that's still there. Okay. Uh, this is from, if you can see here, this is August 17th. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's delve into it. Well, we're in Journey to the Farlands. <laughs> my inventory looks a bit different. <laughs> and my, so do I still have stats? Nope, I do not have stats. My, but look at this. <laughs> look at how different my inventory was. And just prove it to you. Look at where we are. Negative 1362. 37263. Oh, so negative 1337,000. So that's pretty darn. Oh, I remember when I did this too. Yeah, we're pretty darn like uh, close to spawn, considering where we are now. I'm not going to show these off a whole lot. That was that one. I think I'm not, I'm not, I'm just going to breeze through them. Let's do another one. I'll kind of go through a few of them. I'll, I'll see if I can find the original one. Well, not the original, but like, yeah, the, the one that's me at spawn. And then I'll show off maybe one or two more. I don't really got a whole lot. There's not really a whole lot else to it, really, but... Um... Uh, so what was it? Negative one. We'll try this one next. Twenty January first. Okay. We'll try this one next. This one's like tiny. This one's gonna be very tiny in size. This one might be the one at spawn that I showed off in the episode, episode 41, I think. Called The Beginning. Okay, let's go back. I don't know why. Oh, I guess it just doesn't like when I keep doing that. This one, I think this one's the same size. Oh, I think this, is this one the same one? I think I just put the same one in here. Uh... Uh, it was the exact same world. Okay, I'll delete this one then. Shoot. Drain to the far lines backups. Okay, I think it was negative one. Okay, well, we'll try this one. This one's even older. This one should actually be at spawn. You should be able to see my base at spawn. I can show that off a little bit. Drain to the far lands. August 16th, Harold Mean. Backups. New worlds. Refresh. Unless they might be the same one. I'm gonna make sure this one. Oh, this one's spawn. This one's 22 megabytes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to our journey here. Back to our the world. Um, if it'll there. 22 megabytes. This one's at spawn. I've showed this off before, but this is what spawn was like. In case you guys missed it, which everyone here did. This is the mushroom farm, the fateful mushroom farm. Which I think I blocked up at the end. Whoa. Okay. Anyway. Uh, we got our mines. They go on for days. And they just extend out. This is how I got these diamonds here. And... Yeah, they just go on. I'm not really going to walk down them. You guys can kind of get the idea. But just by looking down them, they're just endless halls. 
I've done this method before. This is actually a bit different. This is TFC's method he did. And you can see how inspired I am by TFC in the beginning because my inventory has like the same stuff that I grabbed. You know, it's kind of just stuff I would grab now, except except for the clock. Like the lava bucket I wouldn't need, but I grabbed that anyway. Redstone I wouldn't need, gold wouldn't need. A lot, a lot of this coal. But pretty much, I had, I had it down pat. Even from spawn. Okay, this one's at night time. Do I have my bed? I do. This is a, I'm, I'm not touching the actual, tampering the actual world by doing this. I have a, this is just a copy of it, so. I mean, this is a copy of a copy. <laughs> so, let's go up to the surface. Yeah, you can see I'm at zero, zero. And uh, I'm gonna go up to the surface. I just dug this down by layer by layer, like a quarry, by the way. Like, I just dug it like layer by layer. It was kind of interesting. I did the ladders each way. And I did torches every few blocks. But here we are. This is spawn. And yeah, I, I think I fell down this hole. I think I fell down here and died <laughs> one time at the beginning of the world. Uh, this is August 14th. This is before the, I think this might just be just before I started the journey itself. I've ventured out that way, I think a little bit. I was gathering mushrooms, so I was like wandering around a little bit. If I wander over here, you should be able to see some of the first trees I ever chopped. Oh, they might have already loaded. Actually, I think these chunks have been loaded since then, so they, the trees are probably already decayed. But I spawned on that island, and then I swam over here. And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> swam over here, punched a few trees, and I went for a quick mine. I, I wonder if I have my original mine over here. Because I didn't mine over there. I mined here somewhere. It's so long ago, though, I don't, I wouldn't remember. But it's kind of cool that I do have this world in this state, because I have my stuff on me. Like, I didn't have to teleport back or die or anything in, like, a copy to get back here. I don't see any trees decaying. Oh. Jesus. But, I don't remember. But yeah, this is this is spawn by the way. And I wandered about gathering materials and things. And then after I had gotten enough materials, what I did was I'd just dug down the mine. And that tree wasn't there at the start, by the way. I planted that. I thought it'd be kinda cool to have a a tree on that island there. I guess it is a bit of an island. It's kinda connected, like under the water, but it's an island nonetheless. Yeah, this is where I started off and had my humble beginnings. And then, um, oh, you know what I could do? I could add single player commands and we could fly and I could show you guys some of the early path. Maybe that's something I could do right now. Since this is a copy, but this is a copy by the way, guys, don't worry, I'm not cheating. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere by doing this. I just wanted to showcase some kind of cool stuff. I might, I think that'd be kind of a cool idea. Show some of my early path. Maybe a trip down memory lane for me. I got to copy paste the other file from Journey of the Far Lands because I've used it in that instance, but I don't use it for the actual series. Uh, console, I think it's this one. And I just got copy single player commands. Can I copy it? Or do I have to, well, I guess I could open the folder. Oh, righty. All right, it might be like somewhere else. Marty G, why? Oh, I might not be able to find it right now. Jar mods. Yeah, they're all like blotted out. Okay, maybe I won't be able to do that then. 
wonder if I can customize Okay. I thought that'd be kind of a cool thing to do, but I don't know if I... I have to just reinstall it. Maybe I will do that. Uh, do, 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 do. Beta I think that should work. We'll see if that will do the trick. LTMC backups. Okay. Uh, switch back. Um, there we go. Oh, plug and fill. I wonder, uh, okay, I can't do that though. And then 10. Oh, I wonder, um, oh, I don't remember what the command is. Okay, I want to see, just give me a second. I wanted to try and see if I could do this just to, oh, it's called fly speed. Fly, oh, I guess that's plus five, plus five, 100. Well, yeah, okay. So I went this, I guess we could just speed it up. But I went this way, I did a bolt. You can actually, on the Legacy Edition, I realized I could get this world working. And I was able to go out to like about here. This is where the world ended. And then I, yeah, I was just like, oh, sad. But then I went over here. It's basically, it was a straight trip. So I wonder if I can actually run into anything kind of cool. I think I went around this bit. Um, I'm trying to see if I can fly about and remember anything. Whoa. Speed, whoa. <laughs> I have not played around with this mod. I have not. Are we a bit too far? I think I did go across this expanse. I did kind of work sort of about a little bit, so I might be going off course a little bit. Just kind of want to explore a little bit, see if I could find anything. Well, I guess I can't find anything because this is a world before all the beds. It's kind of cool anyway, you kind of get to see the world from above. And I have, and uh, even though I have this command, I'm not going to teleport out to the far lands. Even so, just to make hypothetics, I'm not going to do that just because I want to leave it as a surprise. I've done it before in other worlds, but not, not with this specific uh, seed. So I don't want to explore. I guess I could check them out in other axes, but I'm not going to. I don't know, I don't really feel the need to. The only really reason I did that in previous worlds was just so that I could kind of uh, like, like uh, prove to myself that the Farlands did exist in this version, like concrete evidence. Because even though I had, I had seen it before, I was also a bit skeptic. But if we fly long enough that way, We'll reach. I guess I don't want to fly too far because it'll increase the world size, but I'm going to be deleting it anyway after today. Uh, whoa. Oh. 
Okay. Wonder I have explored out this way before. Uh do I remember this? This is where I was kind of wandering about over here. And I was finding mushrooms. I didn't go out too far this way. Maybe I don't know if I've seen that. But anyway, I, I didn't want to fiddle about with this too much because I don't really have a whole lot of reason to. And I doubt you guys would really want to see that many other backups because the rest of them are basically just different points of the journey. And basically after a certain point, it's the exact same. So, yeah. Uh, and over this way. But anyway, I, I'm probably done toiling about here. We should probably get back to the actual world with some no commentary business. Uh, well, I can't get down here for the life of me. Okay. Alright, my music isn't tuned in properly. But anyhow, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the other world now. But yeah, you can see these are the original textures, not like the ones I use now. Which only changed up really a few things. I think oh, there's another crafting table. But I don't think I think the gold blocks are different. Yeah, they are different to how they, I see them in my texture pack. But yeah, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna I don't think there's a whole lot. Does this one? Oh, I guess this one does have stats on it. That's kind of neat. I've slept. I've slept only a bit. Oh, I think I don't think this one actually does have stats. Never mind. No, no. Never mind. I've been fooled. <laughs> that, that's not. That's not stats. I mean, it is. It is stats, but. It's not what I mean, it's not from the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go through my backups thing here. And then we will go back to the norm, the normal. Uh, Drain to the Far Lands, delete that world. This world will be gone for a long time. Yes. Backups, delete that. Uh, that's from my instance, so it's not gonna harm me, our actual world. Ah, yes. Anyhow, I'm going to turn off my mic. And then we'll return with some no commentary here. I'm just getting a bit tired of talking. I'm getting tired. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk for a little while longer. And then we'll wrap up the episode. I think this was a lot of fun. For like just kind of a one-off. I've gone almost two hours. Well, I had a break there. But we've gone almost two hours today of just me talking. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but now yeah, that's gonna be about it for my commentary today. I'm gonna turn things off and then we'll get the game boot back up So I'll see you guys at the end of the episode for a bit more of a end end of episode commentary
Alrighty, folks. That's going to wrap it up for today. I'm just going to place my bed here. Wait, where's my... Right here. Okay, I'm just going to place my bed here. That's going to wrap it up, though, for today. It's getting pretty late here. I'm going to head off to bed. So thank you guys for tuning in to the 100th episode special. <laughs> and uh, hope it was somewhat entertaining, or a bit, maybe a bit more than usual. Uh, thank you guys, though, for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in the next one.